Welcome to Araton Empire Steel G Tamboy Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of the Hajis. I know how we do right here. We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, showbiz updates, and things happening around you. And, and in today's gist, we have so many interesting, deliberating, captivating gist to talk about. We'll be talking about aircon and whiskey, and also we'll be talking about Atiku, Atiku, he has been asked to step down. Fanika, your day blasted Atiku. Guys, I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includers. And also, we'll be talking about the video. He has come out to pledge another giveaway. Guys, just stay tuned because I'll be bringing it to you very shortly. But before we dodge in place, subscribe. Subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget, like, comment, share with your friends so that you can actually stay updated anytime, any day upload. Just stay tuned. So quickly, let's dive into the matter of the Matthias. Now, let's talk about David Doe. David Doe has come out and announced that he'll be doing giveaway on 16th October 2022. That is his birthday, that he'll be doing giveaway. What 250 million naira? Guys, it's huge. It's huge. Recall that last year, he did the same thing, but last year, it was like he came out and he... He posted a clip asking his friends, if you know that he has helped you, you should return the favor to him. And that was how people started, you know, donating to David Doe, sending him money. And before you know it, it was climbing to 100, 100 million climbing. And David Doe decided to, to do a giveaway. So last year, David Doe promised that every year he will be doing giveaway. Every year he'll be doing giveaway, and this year again he has come out and he an he announced it that he'll be doing giveaway. What two hundred and fifty million guys is a huge one, M money good though, huge one. I just hope that he will actually do what he says because to be honest with you, last year on me I not see anything no, and I didn't see anything, although. He, he arranged some committee that would take care of the whole thing, but I didn't see anything. He didn't come out. In fact, he wasn't transparent enough. He wasn't transparent enough. But you can't blame him also, Nae Money. That is his money. So you can't do anything about it. You can't do anything about it. You know, give him money. You know, the federal government. So he just doing it within his own heart. So whether he disbanded the money or he didn't, that was no concern us. It's, not, it's none of our business. Still on matters arising now. Let's talk about matters arising in Ghana's music industry. Let's talk about Black Sheriff Blacko. Record that last week Blacko released his album, The Valiant I Never Was. So ever since then, the album has been trending. Guys, the album has been topping many charts. And guess what? Blacko has hit another jackpot. This album. This album has stopped 100 million streams. 100 million streams on Boom Play. Guys, it's a huge one for Blacko. Big one. That guy, that is why I keep on saying it. May nobody deceive you. When your product is good, people will patronize it. When nobody deceive you, say, oh, people are pushing me, people are pursuing me, people are bringing me down. Nobody is bringing you down. You are. You are the only person that is bringing yourself down. Nobody is bringing you down. Your product is no good. That's why you feel like people are bringing you down. When you have a good... If you are putting out good something, that people will patronize you. People will listen to it. And Black Sheriff album is a mind-busting one. Interesting, guys. Hits. So why, why you know, we get that stream? 100 million. It's a huge one for him. Correlation to him. Okay, guys, so still on matters arising quickly. Let's talk about whiskey and aircon. The way aircon they, they carry, they talk about things where they happen for Africa, especially when it comes to Nigerian musicians. That guy, they give facts. He's so grounded into this Afrobeat manalism, the vocabulary of the Afrobeat, because the way they talk about our musicians and the fat way they give, if you look at it, that dude is 100% right. 
That's he's hitting the nail on the head. Honestly. Wait, no bless, I just the carry the talk. Let me read what Econ said. Okay. Convict music founder Econ has explained why whiskey has continued to grow bigger on the global music scene. Econ said whiskey activated his growth when he decided to employ a bit of the legendary Afrobeat fella Kuti style. He made this known while speaking in an interview about P Square's breakout into global music stage. Guys, that guy they give fat. I'm telling you, he's giving fat. He's giving fat. And if you look at it, he's 100% right. But how come he knew all these things? Because he's not in Nigeria, he's not a Nigerian, and he's not even in Africa. But but what, what that guy is stating is the fact. Whiskey started making it bigger, started becoming a super duper star because Whiskey decided to adapt. Not that he did copy Felal, no. He decided to adapt some, some spices from Fela Kuti. And that was why Whiskey, still now, he's still blowing. So let's be completely honest. What Econ said is 100% true. He nailed it, honestly. He nailed it. Well, okay, quickly, now let's talk about Nigeria politics. You know, say so anytime I want to talk about Nigeria politics, it they bore me. Because sometimes they unpassiasm what they do there, it they post my mind. Okay, so let's talk about Atiku. Atiku, I don't know. This is our daddy in the Lord. He's so desperate for this presidency. He's so desperate to the extent that this man can do anything to become president. And that is to show you how selfish and ignorant these people are. They don't have anything to offer to us. Only failure. Why am I saying this? A clip has been trending online and Atiku was spotted during his campaign in the North. He was making it clear that the North doesn't need an Igbo president or Yoruba president. The North needs Hausa president, a Muslim. This is what, making it clear that this is a division. We are not one as a one Nigeria. So that, that's that his speech has generated a lot of controversies online. It has generated a lot of reactions. And people are asking him to step down because he's, he's mentally unfit to even campaign. Talk more or less of being a president. If that man becomes a president, he never even become a president. Look at how he's dividing Nigeria. Nigeria is already going through a lot. Nigeria, now I keep on saying it. Nigeria, we have gotten to that stage of everybody needs to go out and then flee to that country. But we have little hope now because P2B is trying. So we have little hope that at least Nigeria will change. But you see these people, this PDP and APC, they, 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 the kind of things that they, they do, like is a clear handwriting on the wall that these people have nothing to offer to us. These people, only what they have to offer to us is division. It's to make us understand that we are different. We are not one Nigeria. Honestly speaking, these people has nothing to offer to us as Nigerians. Because when you see them talking, they are not they are not stating anything that like they don't even have something in their mind to say except their manifesto. If you if you really want a better Nigeria, even you yourself, you have something up here, changes that you can implement, but chokai, they don't have any. If you give them mic to talk, they will talk around nonsense, senseless, emptiness, muginism speech. That's what they will give. Guys, if I they talk, they go. They look me like saying, "Maybe Atiko, oh yeah, roll it." All of this country. I know the whole of this country. I have built bridges across this country. I think 
what everybody should know than I need is somebody who is from the north and who also understands the other parts of Nigeria and who has been able to bring bridges across the rest of the country. This is what the Northern Army is. It doesn't need a Yoruba candidate or an Igbo candidate. This is what the Northern Army is. So I believe I stand before you as a pan Nigerian of Northern origin. So after that video was trending online, Fanny Kayode decided to come out and air out his opinion. And Fanny Kayode lambasted Atiku. State the fact that Atiku should step down. That Atiku making this, this kind of speech is already a clear indication that Atiku is trying to divide Nigeria. Already Nigeria is going through a lot of division. But this man, with what he's putting out there, he is unfit. In fact, he stated that Atiku's speech is unspeakable. Faneka Yode is right. But just that I know he's just stating it on their political interests. It's not about Nigerian interest. So that's why I think that speech or that statement is right, but it's coming from the wrong source. Faneka Yode is not someone that cares about Nigerians or one Nigeria. All he cares about is his stomach. Faneka Yode is someone that doesn't have integrity. Honestly. Honestly. The last time he came out, he lambasted APC. Tia in clothes. Go carry Brazilian hair. Cut. Stop. Say he will never support APC. He will, nobody will see him in APC. You know, even which one year, Faneka Yode did come from PDP, enter APC. And because now he's in APC, now he's not talking against PDP. So what he said is right, but it's coming from the wrong source. But let's be sincere. This bunch of incompetent leaders, we need to be careful. We need to vote for the right person, honestly speaking. I'm not, campaigning. I'm not campaigning for anybody, but we need to be careful and vote for the right person. Now quickly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of our daddy in the Lord, Tinibu. Our daddy in the Lord, don't bust out. Tia in clothes. Say nobody should come to Lagos and intimidate him. That after all, he is the one that made Lagos megastar. That Lagos was a jungle. He made Lagos a mega city, a mega city where everyone now is, is, is fighting to be, where everyone now is running to go and live, that he is responsible for the development in Lagos states. Guys, if I talk now, they look me like saying, maybe Ebola Tinibu, let me read what he stated. All right, so the presidential candidate of all progressive Congress, Bola Tinibu, has, has claimed that he turned Lagos from a jungle to a mega city during his tenure as the governor of the state from 1999 to 2007. This is what he made clear. But let's be completely honest. He's right. Bola Tinibu contributed to Lagos state development. But... Is not your money. This is taxpayers' money. No one owes you anything. In fact, it's your responsibility to make Lagos a mega city. Because we elected you there for you to deliver. But but to be sincere, I don't know the kind of self-entitlement where these people they get. That self-temerity where these people they get. Lagos takes money now your money. Is your responsibility to develop Lagos State? Lagos State made you. You didn't make Lagos State. 
you delivered with taxpayers money now taxpayers money where you use make lego state not your dime you, you didn't contribute anything in the development of lagos let's be serious here you didn't make lagos state a mega city rather lagos state made you a mega minolia you you are you are tinimbu today because of lagos you are you are tinimbu today you are our 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 minolia tinimbu today is because of lagos so lagos made you you didn't like these people they are safe ah let's be sincere here you contributed a little in the development of lagos but lagos paid you lagos made you lagos in fact you achieved more than what you contributed may we still on matters arising let's talk about matters arising in the camp of big brother niger let's talk about kid wire the former housemate of big brother niger kid wire has come out to make it clear to nigerians that we shouldn't be like the way they carry the pray, it be like say, eh, we are disturbing God too much that we shouldn't be putting all our strength, all our hope, all our faith in God. Everything, God, if light no day, God, if road no good, God, if you want to bath, God, if you want to dactalize, God, 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 we should not, we shouldn't be putting all those faith in God's hands because He has given us the ability. To work things out on our own. You know, like saying, I may be kid wire. Let me read what he tweeted. Try not to put your faith too much in God. He gave us the power to believe in ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, kid wire is 100% right. The way they disturb God for Nigeria. Ah! The way they disturb God for Nigeria. Just put yourself, just put yourself as God and see how people could disturb you. The way the way they disturb God for Nigeria is too much. It's too much. Every day we are praying. We pray too much. We kabash, we kabash too much. The time that we use in focusing, having that positive thinking to solve problems that, that is around us, we use it to be praying. The few things where, where God don't give us the ability to solve, now they pray for. We they pray for light in Nigeria. God, please, let there be light in Nigeria. But when you go to Western country, that is what they develop. They use their hand to develop it. We they pray for God to come and do good road for us. The same way we are praying to God to give us good leaders. Timie. We God has given us the mentality, the ability, and the stability to work things out for us. I don't know. We 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 need to change that narrative. We need to change that meteorology. God now they come holiday for. Nigeria again because the way people they pray, it, 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 like like sometimes people they pray unnecessary prayers, unnecessary prayers, guys. That's my own opinion, and that is the truth. And don't come here and counter me with your facts. But if you want to counter me with your facts, I don't care. Go and understand. Alright guys, so that will be all in today's episode and you know how we do right here. Just stay tuned, stay glued because I'm coming back with another interesting, innovating, mind-busting gist. Guys, just stay tuned. But please, subscribe. Please try and subscribe. If you like the content, if you like the channel, try and subscribe. And that way you can stay updated. Click the notification button, like, comment, share with your friends. So that you can actually be updated anytime any day I upload. Just stay tuned. Thanks for watching. God bless.